Hello guys, I'm going to show you my uh, pinball my payout pinball machine um, from the 1930s. Um, about six years ago I did a restoration video where I showed before and after pictures of all the components that I cleaned and repainted or what have you. And if you want to see that video, video just click on my channel. There's not a whole lot of videos on my channel so it would be pretty easy to find. But anyway, this was one ball for five cents. It was a payout pinball machine. It says right here, one ball for five cents. Place, coin, and shoot, and push all the way in. To raise ball to raise balls to playing field, push button under shooter. Score void if machine is tilted. A game of skill for amusement only. 10% federal excite tax paid on this machine. And this is the coin mech, original coin mech, takes nickels. And if you look down here, you, um, you can see where the previous person had put a nickel in there. And that lets the, uh, the bar owner know that nobody's putting any slugs down there, because they can check it out periodically. But anyway, we'll take a quick pan around the machine here. I refinished a lot of the wood. It's a wood rail. I took the glass off so you can see things better. Here is the side. There's a coin return on the side there. Overall, the cabinet's in pretty good shape. I didn't do any re-painting re, uh, on the cabinet. This was a battery-operated machine. Um, there's a door missing there in the back. And excuse the mess, I'm just cleaning it up right now. Here's the other side. And if you look down in here, there was a uh, slug inside the machine. So maybe they paid out in slugs. Here's an old pinball logo here. And here's a couple of extra pins, and that's the original ball. Um, now, to um, the payout was secretly hidden down here, like this. That's where you'd get paid out. And I'm not sure what the prizes were. Maybe there was a free beer or something, a couple or a couple of bucks. But a couple of bucks was a lot of money back then. Um, over here is the payout mechanism. That's what it looks like. This little handle right here turns it on and off, so you can have it turned off if you don't want it to pay out. And the nickels would go in here. There's a um, a container that's missing there that would stack the nickels up. But anyway, I am going to show you the inside, but also want to show you the playing field real quick here. Okay, and the ball, if you, if you don't make it any of the holes, the ball will go down here. Anyway, I'll show you the inside. Bear with me here for a second. Okay, um, I had to the uh, the metal or whatever was the uh, the feel that that lets the balls roll back down. It, it was missing, so I had to make this. And this just prevents it from falling down the machine. It's a guide rail. And it'll go down into this thing down there. The ball will roll down there. And then if you can see, that brings the ball back up to the playing field. And if the ball goes in the out thing, it'll roll down this ramp and roll back into here. Uh, kind of see the inside there and, and this is the uh, the playing field and when you put a coin in this will release this this will go down and drop the balls in the playing field if the ball lands any of the holes it'll stay trapped down there until you put a new coin in there and that lets the ball fall down where it needs to go back to give you a game and it was only one ball for five cents so anyway I think that is going to do it 
This is quite an interesting piece of artwork right there. And that's going to do it. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.